Hello everyone, today we're going to make some handles out of these blanks that we made on Saturday Morning Cartoons. It's a live show that we do every Saturday and we make stuff like this. I actually sent one like this to Peter Brown and uh, thinking that he would do something cool with it and he did. He turned the whole thing under a black light. Uh, so I had made another one of these pouring it under a black light. It was super cool and at the same time I used some scrap. These ones have the burl caps in them but I used just some scrap wood in these and some of the neon pigment paste from eye candy on this one. And hopefully it'll work. Someone won this, so I'm gonna turn this at the same time. Let me show you these under a black light. Just a little close up without the black light, regular light. These are swirled all kinds of crazy. We do stuff like this all the time on the show. Uh, it's super fun to do. And here is the one that's gonna go to the lucky winner. This one will be auctioned off later for charity, so let me get the black light on. How cool is that? Hmm, super cool. Can't wait to get these turned. Peter turned his in the dark underneath the black light. I'm lucky enough to just be able to see where the light's on. So we'll randomly check in with the black light. But the first thing we're gonna do is, I like using these metal inserts and I get these from Niles Bottle Stoppers along with this uh, bottle opener. So this is gonna fit in there like that and you'll be able to take it out. Um, we need to flatten this and get this to where to go in there. So I'm gonna show you that. Now this is a 7 16 drill bit and I have tape on there to go as deep as I want to go. First I got a 3 8 bolt and I cut the head off of it so it'll go in the Jacobs chuck. And here's the insert so I'll just put that on there like so. And now we have Z epoxy. This is a 30 minute epoxy. So I'll go ahead and do this one. I'll uh, get it pressed in there and stuff, equal parts of this. I'll go to lunch and I'll come back and I'll do the, the next one. So this is super simple. Ooh, got kind of crazy. It doesn't need too much. Now I say that, right? We're just gonna mix it up. I think that's mixed up well enough. I'll put some in the hole. And we'll put the rest on the outside of this. And we just press it in there with the lathe. I don't want it getting all over the thread, so I'm gonna get it close. And then wipe off the excess. We're gonna go just below the surface is how I like to do it. And I'll make sure that there's not any getting on those threads still. And I'll get some denatured alcohol and clean that off. And I'll come back after lunch, get that out and do the other one and then we'll go from there. Okay, I just got back from lunch and we're gonna take this loose. Move our headstock back and unscrew this. So there you go. Now we'll get the second one done and we'll be back probably tomorrow. I'll let these sit overnight and we'll be back tomorrow to turn these things. First I have this mandrel and it's gonna go on here. It's just gonna thread right on there. This is what we're gonna use as hardware. And if I just use this as a mandrel, we're gonna probably cut it too close. So this adapter right here it's going to be a lot closer to that size than, than this is. So that goes over it like that. And I put a washer so it's less likely to get stuck on there. As you can see, that's, that's in there just a little bit. We're going to thread that on there. I use HDPE plastic. I have a lot of scraps of that stuff. So I just put it in there and I'll turn it down. That way I'm not poking a hole in the end of the blank and stuff like that. It's just something I've 
just come accustomed to doing. Before we get started here, this is a mandrel from uh, Niles Bottle Stoppers. I'm going to be using Easywood Tools negative rate cutters on these. Uh, just a side note, if you hear a noise in the background in a little bit, it's the air conditioner because it's supposed to be 104 degrees in Amarillo, Texas. So let's get started. Uh, the safety, safety, I usually use the Airshow Pro. Uh, I love it. I use it for a lot of things, but I'm going to use the regular face shield today because I'm going to be talking to you. So let's really get started now. cool is that that was at about 2500 rpm so i'm going to continue <laughs> the air conditioner came on and the lights went off so let's go Oh my goodness, how cool is that? Let me just take a second and acknowledge how cool it is that Peter Brown did this whole thing under black light. I'm not going to do it, but if you want to see a whole video done underneath the black light, I'll put a link up there to Peter's video. Good job, Peter. I can't do it. I have two of these to do today. I'm starting to freak out. I'm, I'm starting to get to where I need to do the details and uh, I need lights on. So good job, Peter. Let's get back to work. And this, stuff, but this, this is super fun. I was going to cut all the way through this just because it was cool to film. So I had to stop. <laughs> Let's go. Just for fun. Oh my goodness. And look at the rest of this stuff too. Look how cool that is. <laughs> Ooh, so much fun. A couple of notes here. This is dust collection right here. I'm about to turn it on. Um, I'm not going to pretend that I'm a good enough wood turner to have this to where it's ready to just hand sand. So a little trick you can use, and I've been made fun of for this before online, all the bullies get me is I'll finish it off with sandpaper. There's some ridges on here and I'll show you real quick. And, and it doesn't matter. Let somebody make fun of you. It doesn't matter. Uh, go ahead and I'll show you how I do this. Now I'll use a drill with 120 grit and I'll do that with the drill and then that's it. Then I'll go back to hand sanding. But this is a great way to get it get it nice and flat. And as you can see here in a second, these lines will disappear and then you'll kind of know that you're flat. So just use the drill, but don't go don't do it on all the grits. Hopefully you can see all those ridges just went away. I need to do a little bit of shaping around here, or whatever and do this so the the point is whatever you got to do at the end of it if, as long as it's a cool project which i think this one's going to qualify for that so go ahead and do it don't let people uh don't be intimidated into to doing what you have to do to get the job done so take that for what it's worth so i'm going to go ahead and do this i have a full sanding video i'll put it up here i'm going to sand this to 400 dry and then i'm going to sand it to pink on zona paper and you'll understand if you watch that video, but I'll come back when I'm there. 
we're almost there this is sanded to pink zona paper once again i have a link up there uh, in the cards to uh, sanding and polishing and then this is your sugar grit this is basically this is sandpaper with lubricant so it's a abrasive paste uh, this stuff will do good enough we're going to go straight to microfine anytime i have clear there's clear resin in here i'm going to go ahead and use microfine what you do is I'll go ahead and go over this a little bit. We're just gonna get some on our paper towel like this and rub it all over this thing. Make sure you get plenty on there. You don't want it dry. We're gonna do this with the lathe on so we don't want it to actually sand if it's, if it's not all lubricated first. And I'll start off at like 500 and then maybe go up, but it's, got plenty on there right now we'll go ahead and turn the lathe on i'm gonna go ahead and speed it up just a little bit to the 800 you just rub it in there until the grid in there will break down and you'll actually be able to feel it when it's done you won't feel the grid anymore and then you'll know you're finished You can kind of feel when you're done, so whenever you're kind of finished, go over to the clean side. Just kind of get this, get the excess off. Don't push too hard. We're just trying to get the excess off, off of there. And you can, you're finished when you're, you don't have any more coming off. Ooh, look at that. We talked about Yorkshire grit not being a finish, so these buffing wheels is what I use. First one's Triple E, white diamond, and this is one that has carnauba wax on it, so let's get these buffed up. Before we get to the big reveal, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I'll have links to everything I use below, and if you made it this far, go ahead in the comments and say, I made it to buffing. Just a couple of things before I show you the end results. One, uh, Peter Brown, that was an amazing job doing it in the dark. I can't do it. The, another thing is I put the inserts in there. Um, you don't have to. Just get some threads in there or whatever. I like using the inserts. It just makes me feel good to use them. Uh, they're from Niles Bottle Stoppers, as is this. This is the bottle opener. All it does is go in here. It just screws right in there after we're done. And there you go. Uh, what am I going to do with these? This one will probably be auctioned off later on to support Make-A-Wish. And this one here was won by a viewer a couple weeks ago named Kimberly and so she's going to get this I'll show this off on Saturday morning cartoons at the first uh, the first part of the show I always do a show and tell and show you what we did or what we're about to send out so check that out let's go ahead and take a look at these under the regular light and the black light and while we're taking a look at these go ahead and subscribe to the channel and give us a like give, send us a comment if you enjoyed it and uh, come see us on Saturday morning cartoons it's a live show we do every Saturday at 10 o'clock a.m. Central Time. We love doing it. We have a great group of people there. So you guys come and see us, and y'all be good.